have like this last month, and I don't even think we're gonna be able to complete it by then. There goes that. Let's go for our modern naval doctrine. France is basically fully occupied now. With the North Germans gone, it's basically just France murdering everything in uh, Africa because we have no troops over there. They tried to attempt a landing <laughs> in Argentina. They actually managed to capture Buenos Aires for a little bit. But yeah, we sent our troops over and killed that French incursion. But right now it is, we are trying, We're, we are trying to do this. Like, <laughs> the only way I can see this is if we manage to get Russia to surrender. So I'm gonna try to send these guys to St. Petersburg, but it's, I doubt it's gonna be that much help. The game is about to end in like a few more ticks. All right. Well, let me pause it right now since it's Christmas in the game. But let's look at the world real quick before this game is over. So, uh, oh yeah, I can send these guys over here to deal with that. But yeah, it seems that this great war ended within our favor. We managed to uh, pretty much fully occupy France. They have some troops down here. It looks like they're gonna try to liberate some stuff, but France is fully occupied. Uh, we managed to pretty much fully occupy North German Federation. They surrender. We managed to kick out Italy. They surrender. We're in the process of invading Russia. Russia is fighting this massive two front war. And most of their units are backed up over here in like the far east of Russia. And they have to like come through Asia right now, which actually they look like they're doing and they're gonna get to buy units soon so ooh, ooh. but uh yeah it seems that if we just go by how this like is going right now Russia once we would have gotten to like the Urals uh over here once we would have gotten like over here to this mountain range we would have uh basically by that time probably would have kicked Russia out the war like they did Scandinavia and then France would have been pretty much fully occupied. Like they have this stuff here, like Algeria, which is considered a state for them. So even though they have pop down here, we could have like, you know, did a naval invasion and finished off this, but it's not really that useful or valuable. They also had like, you know, French Ethiopia, French Boss Congo and French Ghana and stuff with this French Cape Colony, also with Madagascar, but uh yeah they haven't been able to fully punish us japan i have no idea if japan did anything and looking at this i doubt they did anything at all they have a massive army but they did absolutely nothing with it i'm waiting i'm just guessing that japan or russia may try to invade japan uh who knows but yeah as you can see, the world changed vastly from when we started off as just the simple South American country to the world's greatest power. And right now, uh, I mean, like worst case scenario, the United States would have declared war on us, but seeing as how they're building up military strength and already Mexico is like mobilized to right now, they have the eighth strongest military right now in the world. So I'm sure in Mexico would have flooded the United States with troops before the United States had a chance to fully mobilize. So let's wrap this game up. Unpause it. And let's go from here. It's gonna end in a few more ticks. And we already have some troops in St. Petersburg. Uh, Wait a minute. Oh, we got one more year. We got one more year, everybody. We got one more year to achieve our goal. Okay, I thought it ended in 1935. I'm well. I guess it must be 1936 then. Uh, okay. 
This is our last year. We, we got one more chance at this. Come on, guys. Come on. Make Brazil proud. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Like, Russia's defense over here is complete garbage. All right, St. Petersburg is gone. Guys, head over here. We pass another reform. Uh, old age security. Okay, so pensions. Just keep moving, everybody. Russia has some units on standby back here. Oh, here they come. Where's Russia's military tech like right now? 28, okay, we still have a slight tech advantage over the... For, to call in the rest of our ally. Okay, Russia's trying to dogpile on us. Let's dogpile our units on some of these. Let's just help kill these guys out. Sluts. Okay, they can stay over there. You guys can head up here. Had to say Petersburg. Yemen surrendered to France. Uh, I didn't even realize that Yemen was still in this war. Russia is over in Yemen. <laughs> uh, Egypt looks like they're about to capitulate. Okay, let's see. Can we get France to capitulate to these terms? No. We just have to, like, just kill as many Russians as we can. Head up here, through there. All right, Battle Minsk, Battle Pinsk. Hit down to Kiev. Keep going, just keep killing them. We're bleeding them out. Russia didn't expect Brazil to be this strong. I tell you what. They come more Russians. They're coming from like the rear. Kultka. Guys, head over here. 
Oh, he's gonna hit up there. Keep sieging. Not except, all right. What about you, friend? Well, we're almost to, actually, we're almost to that ticking war score for Poland-Lithuania, now that I think about it. Yeah, we just have to mostly capture most of this southern stuff. I'm gonna move. Actually, you guys head up through here. down here start doing that siege you could just stay right there you could just go also down here so have to get most of these other bits and pieces of Poland Lithuania Russia surrender. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a long, drawn out one. Black Sea. Continue with this. All right, let's go through here, down here. Kill off all the, the rest of this crap. Keep going, keep killing all these soldiers. Come on. Oh, it's gonna be extra long because I was to keep going. All right, so. We might be able just to pull this off. Okay, they're going to Gommel. Head over here. And you guys head over here. All right, will this be the end? No. We have to keep going. Keep going. All 
Alright, 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 alright. We're almost to the conclusion of this war. I see you hit down here. Look, like they're piling on more troops. Deep and greedily. Russia is chugging along with this. They even wouldn't accept the white peas. Like France is just going insane with this nonsense. Okay, uh, actually, let's pick these guys up. And let's also ship you guys over here. Hit over there, kill those last couple guys. Go over here. All right, you guys hit the Sylvester pool. All right. Looks like Russia cannot keep up with this. France still has a way to go. Russia is mostly tied up down here in Asia. Uh, looks like they're calling their little quagmire. And we're almost there. We, we have to just keep like sieging and killing. Yeah, all right, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Stay in Novgorod. Oops, uh, just told you guys to move, I didn't mean to. Keep thinking right click is a different game. All right. We have to keep going, like most of the Russian military is done. Battle Gamo. Where are they going? Mosier. Mosier on down over there. Hey, you guys can just do whatever you want over here. Strata Lodge. Jeez. Didn't expect like this to be like this much of a fight. France just there, finally. After all of that, except the damn peace. Oh my goodness gracious. This was definitely the war to end all war. <laughs> We actually get some of these guys down here because we're gonna have to do a lot of pickups. Let's get you guys down here as well, and let's get you guys down here as well. This episode is gonna be jam packed, full of nonsense. Finally, <laughs> we humiliate France. 
we acquire French Guyana and we get the Great War capitulation. So finally, finally we've gained guy like French Guyana. All that was left is the Netherlands, but at the same time, historically speaking, we did take over parts of like this, which is I think slightly ahistorical, but who cares? <laughs> Uh, Dutch, let's just assume it'll be like history where they'll just turn Dutch Guyana into like Guyana Guyana. <laughs> uh, here are the rebels in Mexico. Yunnan's military exhausted. Gangshi is militarily exhausted. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, China's still dealing with this war over here with the uh, Heavenly Kingdom. And, oh uh, boy. Let's just get all of our guys back over here okay we're gonna have to we're gonna split you guys so just get down here you all did fantastic work you've been embroiled in this European war for years <laughs> now you finally get to return home this is over all right actually Funnily enough, I'm going to end this episode off right here. No! You know what? Nah, nah, nah. I'll let this keep going to the end of the uh, year. Oh, wait. Shoot. No, I'm going to have to let this episode go because I think I'm running out of space on my other hard drive. So, oops. Um, okay, so when we return, I'll make the last episode the last episode. This is just the climactic finale to the... Which Great War is it? The Fifth Great War. And who knows, I may cut this, edit, uh, edit this video down and then split it up and send it into multiple small episodes. So hope you guys like and enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And with that said, I hope to see you guys again on the final episode of Belligerent Brazil. This is now this one is pure niceness. Now, 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 now.